Greetings, this is Ben Murray, founder of the SAS Academy and the SASCFO.com. In this video lesson, I'm going to be addressing the SAS CAC ratio, also known as the cost of ARR, one of my favorite SAS metrics to measure. So what is the CAC ratio? Well, it's, this, it's a sales and marketing efficiency metric. It measures the cost to acquire $1 of new and expansion ARR. So similar to CAC, where we're measuring the cost to acquire one new logo, in the CAC ratio, we're putting it on a dollar basis. So there are four ways to calculate the CAC ratio. The first is our blended CAC ratio. So that's all new and expansion ARR coming into our business. The second is the new business CAC ratio. And like the name suggests, it's just focusing on the cost to acquire new business ARR. Third, we have the expansion CAC ratio. And then fourth, the upsell CAC ratio. They all operate about the same way other than what you are putting into the numerator and denominator. In today's lesson, we're going to focus on the blended CAC ratio. So the blended CAC ratio formula. In the numerator, we have all of our sales and marketing spend. So the blended CAC ratio is pretty straightforward to calculate because you don't have, any, have to do any allocations between new and existing business. So we have sales and marketing ex expense in the numerator. And again, this is fully burdened, wages, taxes, etc., trade shows. And in the denominator, we have all new and expansion ARR coming into the business. So you divide by the ARR, and that equals the cost of new ARR. So again, new ARR means all ARR from new business or new logos coming into the business and expansion ARR from existing customers. So where do we find the required inputs? Well, if we look at our SAS P&L, and in my SAS P&L, I like to have a booking summary at the top of the page, we have new and expansion ARR that we're tracking. So this is where we're finding our expansion and new ARR on our P&L, or most likely coming from your CRM system. For the expense side, we are going to look at the sales and marketing areas in our OPEX, OPEX section and pull that data into our formula. So a simple CAC ratio example. Let's say our sales and marketing expense was $2 million. We put that in the numerator. Our new AR coming into our business you know, from new and existing sources was 1.5. So what that says, it's cost $1.33 to acquire $1 of ARR. So when should you measure this metric? Probably not in the build stage or where you're, you're acquiring your first customers because you just don't have enough data uh, and the, the numbers are gonna look probably a little funny in the beginning stages, but probably around the growth build stage as you're building your custom base and allocating real dollars towards sales and marketing spend, that's probably when you wanna start measuring this metric. So tips and tricks with the CAC ratio. Again, remember this is the fully burdened expense. It's not just wages, it's not just paid ads, it's every expense originating out of your sales and marketing cost centers. And this is also critical. Make sure the time period that you're measuring equals the sales cycle length. So if you have a three month sales cycle, one month or 12 month, you're going to measure the new ARR over that time period and your sales and marketing expense over that time period. So if you had a 12 month sales cycle, you're gonna measure the trailing 12 months of new and existing ARR and sales and marketing expense. And remember, do not include renewals into this number because this that is not new business or expansion business that you're acquiring unless you're expanding those existing customers. And to make this easier on yourself, Make sure you have a properly formatted SAS P&L where you're coding expenses to the department level, which will make it very easy then to pull your sales and marketing expense directly from your P&L instead of diving into the details to try to find those expenses. Thanks for joining me today on the CAC ratio video lesson. If you'd like to learn more, check out the sasacademy.com or the sascfo.com.